The Duchess of Sussex's half-sister Samantha Markle has been added to a fixated persons list by police over fears she could embarrass the royal family. It has been claimed Meghan's half-sister has reportedly been placed on the list due to the reputational risk she poses to the royals. The Duchess's personal protection officers are said to have spoken to Scotland Yard's Fixated Threat Assessment Centre (FTAC) about the embarrassment Ms Markle could cause. Ms Markle, 53 has spent months speaking out against her half-sister amid a very public family row after members of the Markle family were not invited to Meghan's royal wedding in May. Ms. Markle, who lives in Florida, sent Meghan a Christmas card in December urging her to contact her father Thomas Markle, who claims he has been ghosted by the Duchess since her Windsor wedding. The 53-year-old wrote, Life is short and you know dad is wonderful. Please give him joy in his last years by showing you love him. The time is now. Please think about this. In October, Ms. Markle turned up at Kensington Palace in an attempt to meet her half-sister, weeks after branding Meghan the Duchess on Twitter. But she was forced to hand a letter to staff outside the royal residence after being turned away at the gates. During her trip to the UK, Ms. Markle also made a public appeal to Meghan to end the long-running family rift during an appearance on Jeremy Vine on 5. And Ms. Markle is said to be writing an explosive book about Meghan, called In the Shadows of the Duchess, which is set to be published next year. A Scotland Yard source told the Sunday Times, You can't protect someone like the Duchess of Sussex without knowing the background of her family. But someone like Samantha presents a risk rather than a threat. She is not committing criminal offences but she is causing concerns for the royal family. There is big potential for some major embarrassment for the royals. Samantha could make a scene and create headlines with her actions, and let's face it she's kind of already done that. A spokesperson for the Metropolitan Police said, We do not confirm the identity of any person who may or may not be of interest to police unless that person has been charged with an offence.